In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install your favicon and your big commerce store. My name's Cal and be sure to subscribe if you find this helpful. All right. So let's go over to my computer and log it into a big commerce store. What you do to get to the place where you upload your favicon is you click on the storefront and then logo. I wish it would say logo and favicon because it's hard to find your favicon spot if you're not currently looking to install your logo. In this case, I already have a logo installed. I already have a favicon installed, but I'm going to replace it. It does say that you need to uh, upload a 32 by 32 specifically sized favicon, and it can be ICO format, JPEG format, GIF, or PNG. And so the easiest way to do this, you're probably going to need to size your icon. Nobody has, nobody ever has the exact right sized icon there. So what I recommend is go to Canva and open a canvas, make it 64 by 64, which is twice the size that BigCommerce is asking for, but I'll show you why. Um, first of all, Canva will not make an image under 40 by 40. So we're going to go a little bit bigger and then we're going to export it at half the size. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually just upload my uh, logo here, which is way bigger than I need. I'm going to upload it right here. Then I'll import it, <clears throat> put it in the middle. Now it's way bigger than the canvas, so it doesn't really matter if I scale it up because it's not going to be pixelated since it's already sized way bigger than the canvas. So I want to size it, scale it to where it's almost edge to edge. And then I want to vertically center it just like that. I'm going to pull this bar up using uh, command and dragging it to make sure I don't grab any of that text that's below. And that's about it. Make sure it's vertically centered now. And that looks pretty good. Now this is uploaded with a clear background because this is a, a clear background PNG that I used. If you're using a JPEG, then you're probably going to want to click into the image and use this premium feature of Canva, which is the whole the whole premium cam is like eight bucks a month currently um, but this will let you remove the background so you don't have like a white background behind your um, behind your icon unless you want one you know okay so once you have the background removed which i didn't need to but you may and it's all centered and it's all scaled the right way now we just need to export it so we're going to come up here to share download leave this as png and slide this down. You can see it's as 64 by 64 currently. Slide it all the way down to scale it to exactly half and it'll be the perfect size. Okay, click transparent background unless you don't want a transparent background and then click download. Just like that. That'll put it in your downloads folder. And now we're just gonna go back to BigCommerce, click on this replace image and choose the download that you just got which in my case is untitled design one um, now if this was my production store i'd probably take a second and just rename this to your brand name but i'm going to skip that actually no let's not skip it let's do it right i'm going to right click it and rename and call this your brand png <laughs> all right click open and that'll upload it here It'll show it to you in the preview, and all you have to do is click Save, and that guy is applied. Uh, if you open up a new tab, you should be able to see it within a couple minutes here. Um, sometimes your browser caches it, but if you check it on a fresh computer, it should be rendering right away into the icon that you uploaded. That's all you got to do, and be sure to reach out if you guys need help at bigdesignlabs.com and join our free community at joinecommercegrowth.com. I'll see you in the next one.